Rated T for Teen. Multiplayer is a big part of Empire Earth 2 and the real-time strategy experience overall. There's a lot of different multiplayer modes we have in the game. There's nine different types of games you can play. And then there's dozens and dozens of other options you can use to modify the gameplay experience if you want to. For over a year now, every single day at four o'clock, we play a multiplayer game. And we get together and talk about what went right, what went wrong, um, and what we could do to improve the game. When you get a game of the scale of Empire Earth 2 and the variety of units there are on it, one of the challenging things is literally just to balance them. We have a system called the Auto Balancer that we run constantly, which creates different battles envisioned with one type of unit against another type of unit, and it actually measures the cost effectiveness of each type of unit against every other type. We make sure that no one unit is the trump card, that if you build this, you don't have to use your strategy and your thought to play the game. There has been more balancing effort put into this game than I've ever seen in any game before, and we think that the uh, final product is a, a masterpiece of balance. One of the features I'm most proud of in the multiplayer Empire Earth 2 experience is Quick Start. It lets you choose from a num number of different options, whether you want to have an economic, a military, or a balanced type of base, and whether you want to be aggressive or defensive or balanced within that, and it will automatically lay down buildings and start you with units. So you can jump into the game, start fighting, and you can have a 15 or 20 minute real-time strategy multiplayer experience, which has never been possible before. Of course, Empire Earth 2 has your standard conquest type modes in multiplayer, uh, locked teams, team conquest. We also have modes such as Hotspot, where different spots will appear around the map that you have to build a fortress on top of, and you have to hold a certain number of them for a certain amount of time. There's King of the Hill mode. There's territory control modes, where you have to have a certain number of the territories on the map under your control. The Sole Survivor mode can be applied to any number of these other modes where only one person is allowed to win the game. And that's the most dynamic mode out there because the best player isn't always on the winning team because everybody realizes as soon as you get ahead that you have to hit that person back down. By making it so only one person can win the game if you choose the sole survivor option, the dynamics and the replayability have just gone through the roof. One of the interesting questions whenever you design a game, and especially a real-time strategy game, is are you designing it for the people who take their time, or are you designing it for the people who go out there and click really fast and want battles right away? And to be honest, there are days when I want slow, and there are days when I want fast, and there are days where I want a fast game followed by a slow game. What we did with Empire Earth 2 was we have our favorite settings for the pace of the game that is the default setting. But there's also a slow paced version and a fast paced version. And what it does is it affects things such as the rate at which you gather resources, the amount of damage dealt by units. So in a fast paced game, resources come in faster, units cost less, units move quicker across the map, and they do more damage. We also have the slow pace settings where you know, you gather slower, everything's, the units move a little slower, and you have more time to think about everything, and, and it becomes a more strategic game, and less, you know, throwing your troops at each other. Both modes are fun, they're just a different gameplay experience. It really has given us the ability to make Empire Earth 2 not just span all of time and all of modern combat, but all of the tastes of the player.